In this video, we're gonna see how to clone your own voice using Python. Now you don't need the Laval Labs anymore. You can build your own cloned voice by following this tutorial. Since the Laval Labs has changed its feature to paid model, you can clone your voice only if you subscribe to its paid plans, that is the Laval Labs Pro version. But by watching this tutorial, you can clone your own voice for free. Not only your voice, you can clone anyone's voice by just providing the sample 5 to 10 minute audio of theirs. So this is the cloned voice that I have generated for myself. Let me play the audio file for you. Hello, this is my cloned version of my voice. You can see that it is accurately, not accurately, but 80 to 90 percent of cloned my voice. So this is the uh, project that we're gonna do in this video. So let's get started. So in this video, I'm gonna use the Google Colab. So if you are having the NVIDIA graphics card or the any other GPU, then you can do the coding in your own Visual Studio Code or any other ideally but since i am ha only having the cpu i'm going to use the google collab if you are having the gpu you can do this on your visual studio one lab but i'm going to do this on the google collab so let me uh, go to the browser and type google collab you can see that i have opened the google collab so let me click on this new notebook this will create a new notebook for us you can see that now we have successfully created a new notebook to clone anyone voice including yourself you will have to provide at least 5 to 10 minutes sample audio you can see that i have your sample audio here so let me open this folder inside this folder i have your sample audio let me play this sample audio file for you make sure the audio file is in the wav format so if you are having the audio in the mp3 or ma4 make sure you convert the audio file to the mp3 to the wav format we're gonna use the wav audio format only so make sure you do that i will provide a link how you can convert the mp3 to the wave format link in the description you can check that out that is a online converter you can check this link in the description so let me play this sample audio file for you account to add sense or websites here you can see after you you can see that this is the sample audio let me close this so we're gonna upload these uh, sample audios to this google collab but since if you click on this file icon on the left hand side you can see that it let just wait for a few seconds you can see that it is connecting to the remote server you can see that in the sample data we don't have the sample audio you can see that we have an option called the mount drive we can mount our google drive and we can get the files so the first thing we're gonna do is see we're gonna upload our sample file to the google drive then we're gonna get the audio file from the google drive in this google collab so you can see that we have an option called the mount drive so we're gonna use this option so we're gonna upload our sample file to the google drive first so we're gonna uh, go to the google drive and upload our sample audio so let me click on this google drive so let's create a new folder now inside this folder we're gonna put our audio file that is the sample audio file so the folder name will be a voice clone tutorial so this is the folder name let me click on create you can see that now the folder has been successfully created let me go inside this folder just double click on that folder it will go inside that folder so inside this folder just click on new again and select file upload so inside this folder we're gonna upload our audio file make sure that the audio file is in the wave format before you proceed the tutorial here make sure you convert your audio that is if it is in the mp3 format make sure you use the online converter to convert the audio files into the wave format so let me upload the audio file that is the sample audio file into this consider it is uploading just give you a few minutes now we have successfully uploaded our audio file to this google drive folder called the a voice clone tutorial you can see that now we have successfully uploaded if you go to the google collab you can see an option called the mount drive just click on that and just click on connect to google drive it will ask a new pop-up just click select your account so let me select the account you can see that in the below you, you have a pop-up like mounting google drive just give you a few minutes now you can see that the google drive has been successfully mounted into your google collab you can see option call is drive just click on that and you say that we have your option call my drive select that just double click the yes, option that you can see that we have your folder call a voice clone tutorial this is the same folder that we have created earlier inside this folder we have the audio file so now we have the audio file in the google collab we can start proceeding further that is we can start proceeding to clone our own voice so before we proceed here we have to change one thing so just click on runtime select the change the runtime type so make sure you select the gpu so just click on ok now we're going to use the gpu provided by the google collab now that's why we have selected the google collab we don't have the gpu in our system right so we're gonna 
you see GPU provided by the Google Cloud. So just click on OK and click on Save now. You can see that it is selected the uh, GPU and the runtime will be Python. So just uh, wait for a few seconds. It is connecting to the runtime. Now again click on Mount Drive and click on Connect to Google Drive. So let's also change this file name to Voice Clone. You can see that now our uh, Google Drive has been successfully mounted. Now we can start uh, building our voice. So we'll have to install a library called the TTS. So for this, just type pip install TTS. So make sure you put the exclamation mark before the pip. Consider the Kaki A, which is the founding company that built the Kaki TTS. So we're going to use the Kaki TTS uh, to clone our own voice. So consider this is the uh, documentation of the Kaki AI. So I will provide the link of this website in the description also. You can refer that. So they have released uh, several models to clone your own voice using just providing some sample of 5 to 10 minutes. So we're going to use this library. So we'll have to install the library. That's why we, got, we have used a command like pip install TTS. Uh, so let me go to the Google Colab and let's click on this play icon to install the Kaki TTS or you can simply say the TTS. You can see that it starts downloading the TTS for us. Here it is downloading the NVIDIA Kublas. Uh, that's why we have selected the Google Colab. It requires huge you know, amount of internet connection and the GPU power. So we don't have the enough GPU. So we're going to use the GPU provided by the Google Colab. You can see that now the uh, TTS has been installed successfully, but we get a small error like we need the Pandas version at least greater than 2.2. Uh, so currently we are having a Pandas version 1.5.3. So we'll have to upgrade our Pandas version before we proceed ahead. To upgrade our Pandas version, just type pip install pandas iphone iphone upgrade pip install iphone iphone upgrade pandas and we're gonna select the version 2.2.2 that is the triple so so we'll have to have your pandas version greater than at least greater than this version so just click on this play icon now it will upgrade our pandas version to the latest version you can see that it is uh, uninstalling the old version and it will reinstall the latest version now the successfully uh, Pandas version has been upgraded. Consider successfully install Pandas 2.2.2. So let's try to a new code cell now. Let's import our TTS that we have installed now. From TTS.API, we're going to import the TTS class. So let's uh, execute this cell. Just click on the play icon. So let me create a new code block. Now we have successfully imported the TTS library, we can start proceeding our voice cloning. First, we're gonna load the model. There are several models provided by the TTS, but we're gonna use the your TTS model in this video. So TTS equal to TTS. Inside this, we're gonna provide the model name. So model name will be TTS iPhone model slash. And inside this, we have a multilingual. And inside this multilingual, we're gonna select the multi data set. Inside this multi data set, we have a model called the UOTTS. So we're gonna use the UOTTS to clone our own voice. Now we have the load the model, right? We can start cloning our voice. To do that, just call the function TTS dot TTS to file. So inside this function, we have to pass several parameters. The first parameter is the text you want to convert. In this case, you can pass any text to generate the clone voice for yourself in this case i'm gonna just type text equal to hello this is my cloned version of my voice and after the text we have to provide the uh, speaker file so here you have to provide the sample audio which is at least you have to provide 5 to 10 minutes since we have already uploaded our sample file on the google drive and we have successfully mounted the google drive into this google collab you have an option called the drive on the uh, left hand side just double click to expander and inside it select the my drive and inside the my drive uh, we have a folder called the uh, voice clone tutorial uh, just expand this voice clone tutorial and if you consider we, here we have the audio file just uh, click on the three icons and select copy path and let's paste the uh, path here so now we have provided the sample audio file next we need to provide the language for the uh, audio in this case it will be english Next, we need to give you an output name for your file. I'm gonna uh, put the output in the same folder as the uh, voice clone tutorial. Let me copy the 
a voice clone a folder path and let's paste the folder path here inside this folder path I'll give you a name for your output frame in this case I'm gonna type output thou big so that's it you just have to call this or function called the tts2 file and you have to parse four parameters text and the sample audio and select your language and provide your output path and finally we can uh, print a confirmation message like why is cloning successfully done let's try to run this just click on the play icon now it will uh, so we get a error like so there is no model so this will be uh, not model equal to this will be model name equal to let me change this to model name and let's try to run this one more time you can see that it starts downloading your tts models you can see that the size of this is the 425 mb so this is why I have uh, mentioned in the start of the video you have to have GPU so that you can run this faster it is generating the cloner voice for ourselves just give you a few minutes you can see that now it is a uh, uh, successfully clone our voice successful execution you can see that a new file has been generated successful on the a voice clone uh, folder that we have created so just uh, double click on the new file that is the output that wave and click on download to play the audio so let me play this clone voice hello myself this is my so clone version of my voice open file we consider this is the clone voice of myself you don't need any api of laven labs you don't need any ai tools you can build your own voice cloning using this just a python library called the tts not only you can clone your own voice you can clone anyone voice by just providing a sample 5 to 10 minutes audio so let's try to clone something else since so let me change this text to i'm gonna add a, a few different texts hello this is my cloned version of my voice can you able to find the difference between the cloned voice and the original voice uh, let's try to run this one more time now the file has been successfully executed so let me download this output file let's click on download let me play the output file that we have generated now so let me play this file file hello this is my cloned version of my voice can you able to find any difference the cloned one and the original one consider this is the sample version of myself using tts not only you can clone your voice but you can also generate the text to speech also so there are several models available in the TTS that you can use to create your uh, realistic text to speech so let me show you how you can do that now so let me uh, close this and let's do that how to uh, create a text to speech now uh, for this we're gonna uh, change the model now so let me change this model too so there will be TTS models inside is English and inside this we have a model called the LJ speech and inside this we have the it's VITS and uh, let me change the file path to intro that way and let's also change the text variable to so let me uh, remove this hello in this video we're gonna uh, see your own voice using python and an alternative to the 11 apps so let's try to uh, uh, create a text to speech now let's try to create an audio file for this text so let's try to run this one more time Nasida starts downloading the which model for us. Here we get a small error. Let me scroll down. So we get a error like no eSpeak back and phone. So install eSpeak. So we'll have to install a package called eSpeak. So let's try to download the package now. Just uh, create a new code cell. So just type exclamation apt get install eSpeak. Uh, let's click on display icon now this will install eSpeak for us in this google collab since this is a linux uh, machine it will install the package using the linux commands now the eSpeak library has been successfully installed so let me uh, restart this current session or uh, before the let's try to run this to see if it is uh, updated or not so this is not updated so let me restart the current session now for that just click on runtime and select restart session and click on yes this will restart the session for us so let's try to uh, 
run all the codes from the beginning. So let's try to uh, install the pandas for us first. Now the pandas has been installed successfully. So let me scroll up and install the TTS library. Now the TTS library also installed successfully. Now we can able to create a text to speech now. Let's try to run this code one more time. Before that, let's also make sure we install eSpeak also. eSpeak also installed successfully. Let's try to run this code block now to make sure we don't get any error. So we get the error like TTS is not defined. So we'll have to run the input statement, right? So let's try to click on the run icon now. Now let's click on this uh, cell. So we get another error like model is not multilingual but language is provided. Since this is a text to speech right, we don't have to provide the language parameter and the uh, sample audio. We can remove the two uh, arguments from this function. Let me remove these two arguments from this function and let's try to run this one more time. You can see that it starts creating an audio file for us for the text that we have provided. Consider successful execution. So in this video, we have covered how to create your own clone device using this uh, Python TTS. Using this technique, you don't have to rely on the level apps anymore or, or its API. You can create your own clone device using the Python library and you can do this for free. So this is for this video and I will continue in the next one.